Avalonia was land surrounded by endless mountains. The civilization there struggled to fulfill their needs with the limited resources they have. Many have tried to conquer the deadly mounds, but no one ever returned alive. Then the greatest explorer took the challenge. Will he be able to succeed? Jaeger Clade was a man of steel who was not afraid of any challenge. He had conquered many impossible missions along with his brave son, Searcher Clade. After training for years, they finally decided to travel to the other side of the huge mountains. Along with their crew, the Clades had searched the midpoint of their journey. They were quietly passing through an ice cave when Searcher noticed a strange glowing plant. As soon as he touched it, the plant radiated a strong electric charge. Searcher's screams made the icicles fall. Luckily, he was rescued by his dad. Searcher suggested stopping their mission and bringing the miracle plant back to their hometown. It can be used as energy to drive vehicles and factories. Jaeger waited his whole life to see what was on the other side of the mountains. He couldn't back off. He argued with his son but wasn't able to convince him. The crew was also on Searcher's side so Jaeger decided to continue his mission alone. It's been 25 years since then. The plant Searcher brought his name Pando and has become the energy source for Avalonia. Searcher is living his dream as a Pando farmer along with her loving wife Meridian and his teenage son Ethan. Searcher teaches his son all the aspects of farming so he takes over the family business one day. Just like most parents, Searcher sees himself in Ethan but he's not aware of what Ethan truly desires. The young boy is not fascinated by farming much. Instead, he loves hanging out with his friends and discovering new things. His closest friend Yazo also believes that Ethan is more of an explorer just like his grandfather. But being a good son, he obeys his dad and helps him in delivering pandos around the town. Ethan always feels proud to stand beside the statues made as a tribute to his grandfather and his dad. He always wants to know more about his grandfather, but Searcher never likes to talk about him. He believes Jaeger wasn't a good dad. He only cared about conquering the mountains and for a selfish dream, he left his family behind. Later that night, Searcher spends a great time with his family and cooks a delicious meal together. Their happiness is overwhelming, but their life is about to take a turn. A huge aircraft lands in the farm and Callisto Mal steps out. She's the town mayor and also been part of Jaeger's crew. She hasn't brought any good news. The Pandos are losing their power. They get used up quickly and wither really soon. It could be something that's infecting the crop. They must find out the cause before it takes over all the Pando fields. Callisto wants Searcher to join her on the important mission. He's the one who brought Pando and changed the town's fate. Ethan wants to join the adventure as well, but Searcher doesn't want history to repeat itself. Moreover, he can't risk his loved ones by taking them to the deadly mountains. After Ethan sadly locks himself in his room, Searcher makes preparations for the journey. He enters the storeroom to pick up his old adventure backpack and the lovely compass his father left for him. Afterward, he gets inside the spacecraft and joins the crew meeting. Callisto describes how all the pandos are connected to a single source through their roots. If they can dig in and find the source, they can fix the disease and revive all the crops. The researchers have located the source that's hidden deep under the ground. As the spacecraft ascends, they hear Meridian's voice. She has come back to get Ethan who secretly joined the mission. Suddenly a bunch of strange creatures flies out of nowhere. These creepy animals start attacking the spacecraft and injure the pilot. Meridian uses her plane to guide the spacecraft, then she jumps into the pilot's seat and takes control. Instead of bumping into the rocks, they pop up into a strange world. It was hiding deep under the ground. Searcher and his dog fall off the spacecraft while the others land in a different spot. After getting up from the fluffy pink ground, Searcher looks around and sees the strangest animals and plants he ever witnessed in his life. Suddenly, a slimy creature snatches away his handkerchief. Searcher follows it to get back his belongings, but the slime has brought bigger monsters. Searcher runs for his life and meets another strange creature who burns down the monster. The creepy guy takes off his cloak and before he could introduce himself, Searcher recognizes him right away. It's his father, Jaeger Clade. Searcher reminds him of all the time they spent together in the past. Jaeger recalls everything and excitedly greets his son. He's more excited to see the spacecraft and hurries to find it. Meanwhile, Callisto and her crew are repairing the plane. They must stay together for their safety, but Ethan doesn't agree with that. He sneaks away in a hover bike to find his dad. Soon he reaches an edge and stops there to find a way down to the other side. He doesn't know the ground under his feet is also alive. It starts to wobble and Ethan falls off the cliff. There's no way he can climb in the slippery rocks. The only way left is through the cave. Ethan feels scared at first, but then he remembers the explorer's blood running through his veins. He rushes inside the cave in one go. Everything seems fine at first, but then Ethan finds the slimy creature sticking to his backpack. He screams in fear and throws the slime at the wall. After calming down, Ethan apologizes to Slime for his rude behavior. He also tries to befriend it and name it Splat. Splat pulls out the handkerchief he stole from Searcher. Ethan recognizes it and asks Splat to guide him to his father. 
However, Searcher has already started his journey back to the plane with his father. 25 years ago when Jaeger continued his journey, he realized it was impossible to cross the mountains directly, and he found this hidden place and decided to cross the mountains by traveling underground. He fought every monster inside and reached the burning sea. Its water can burn the flesh off a person's bones. Since then, Jaeger has been trying to find a way to cross it, but now he has a plan. He can use the crew's aircraft and fly over the burning sea. Searcher gets disappointed after hearing his father's intentions. It's been 25 years, but Jaeger still only thinks about himself. He just wants to conquer the mounds. He's not affected by the fact that his family has been living considering him dead. Jaeger's wife also moved on and married another man. His statue lies in the center of the town, but Jaeger didn't get a chance to see it. Nothing is enough for him. They have just figured out another miraculous world, but Jaeger is still risking everyone's life. After sliding down the mountains, they find the game card Ethan had. Jaeger predicts that Ethan is in danger and can be eaten by the monstrous reapers. He's right. Splat is misleading Ethan and takes him to the reaper's nest. Ethan finds a bunch of pando seeds there and starts collecting them. Splat also holds a seed and burns himself. He starts to cry in pain. Ethan treats him softly and wraps up the wound. Splat's view of Ethan has changed. He doesn't want to harm this sweet human being anymore. Unfortunately, it's too late. The reapers have woken up and attacked from all sides, but Jaeger has come in time to save his grandson. He burns down the reapers and starts running away. They reach the cliff and jump off. They land down on a swarm of pink jellyfish. They use them as a route to escape the reapers. Ethan is really impressed by his grandfather's bravery. He's the role model Ethan always idealized. In excitement, Ethan slips his foot and falls down. Luckily, his new friend Splat catches him in time. In contrast, Searcher still regrets being Jaeger's son and getting stuck in such a risky situation. More has to come as Jaeger's gun runs out of fuel. The Reapers are about to eat them, but then Meridian and Callisto come like angels. They have brought hover bikes and everyone rides on them. They are rushing forward, but another bunch of monsters is coming from the opposite side. Splat suggests Ethan use the Pandos. It gives the Reapers a strong electric shock and buys enough time for the crew to escape safely. They reach back to the aircraft, but as soon as they land, Jaeger and Searcher start arguing over the further plan. Callisto calms them down and suggests a mutual route. Their priority is saving the Pandos so they will continue searching for its heart. Afterward, they can always continue the adventure of conquering the mountains. The mission continues. The crew follows the Pandos routes and searches the collected samples. They haven't figured out the solution yet, but Searcher is more worried about something else. The influence of Jaeger on the young Ethan. They are spending more time together. Jaeger asks if his grandson got a lover yet, and it makes Ethan blush. He has someone he loves, but doesn't know how to impress his crush. Jaeger tells him a bunch of risky ways like conquering an impossible adventure. He also offers Ethan his fire gun and teaches him how to use it. Searcher doesn't like this at all. He doesn't want his son to be a careless explorer. He should be a farmer like his dad. This triggers another quarrel between the clades. To bring them together again, Ethan suggests playing a card game. Rather than improving their communication, Searcher and Jaeger keeps arguing against each other's opinions. Ethan gets frustrated by them and gives up. The generation gap here is not letting the clades unite, but the journey goes on. After following the Pando's routes for hours, the crew finally reach the burning sea. Meridian doesn't dare to fly over the boiling acid. They may have to give up. Wait, Splat is up to something. He communicates with the green slimes flying around the sea and asks for their help. The slimes carry up the aircraft and glide it around. To the right, to the left, and to the right again. Now a 360 turn will take them to the other shore. The difficulty doesn't end here. A bunch of reapers has attacked them again. The crew grabs their weapons and gets ready to fight. Jaeger's fire gun is really effective, but he only got one. However, Searcher has another weapon. The Pando Seeds. They start throwing them at the reapers, but the Searcher is bad at aiming. Unlike his dad, he's just a common farmer. Jaeger can't see his son giving up. Just like a good father, he reaches the Searcher step by step. In no time, Searcher greatly improves at throwing. He even teams up with Jaeger, and this father and son duo beats away the reapers. After getting to a safe spot, Searcher grabs a beer and tries to have a peaceful conversation with his dad. They open up their hearts and reveal the reasons behind their goals. Searcher wants to live to be a farmer because he likes putting his love into the soil. He feels at peace while working at the farm. On the other hand, Jaeger has risked his whole life to become an explorer. He lost his family in 25 years of his life already for this adventure. There's no turning back now. Ethan and Meridian are watching this moment and feel glad to see Searcher making up with his dad. Meridian wonders whose footsteps Ethan is going to take on. He shouldn't hold down his emotions and follow his dreams. Becoming what he actually desires is real happiness. It's been hours since they're following the roots. Surprisingly, pandas are getting stronger as they go deep. A strange mystery is waiting for them. Suddenly, a bunch of reapers follows them again. The crew picks up their weapons, but the reapers don't attack them. 
Instead, they're attacking the pandos heart and front. The reapers are risking their lives to fight the pandos. Searcher believes that the pandos are using all their energy to fight the reapers. That's why it's getting weaker. Searcher grinds a bunch of pando seeds and makes them into a fine powder. It can be used as a spray just like the pesticides used by farmers. Everyone follows Searcher's lead. He also prepares a spray gun for his son, but Ethan refuses to participate. He doesn't want to kill any pesticide or rescue a crop. In other words, he doesn't want to be a farmer like his dad. Searcher gets angry at the rebellion and blames it on Jaeger. He believes that Jaeger is brainwashing Ethan into deceiving the farms and becoming a selfish explorer. The coral heats up and Ethan jumps off the ship. Searcher follows him and pulls him on the hover bike to talk. He tried so hard to not become like his dad, but in the end, he did. He becomes the person who tries to control his child and suppress his dreams. He just wanted to construct a legacy for his son to be proud of, but the children can have dreams of their own. Before Ethan could reply, he saw something unbelievable. They've crossed the mountains. And the more shocking thing is that the mountains have an eye. Actually, all this time, they were traveling inside a living creature, and Avalonia was on the back of it. Pando is not an energy source, but an infection that Reapers were trying to fight. Searcher and Ethan rush back inside and stop the crew from attacking the Reapers. Jaeger doesn't believe them and wants to have a look himself. Searcher has given up his legacy for his son, but Jaeger can't do that. He's not an ideal father. Searcher returns him the compass and says goodbye once again. After that, he gets back on the ship, but there's a huge problem. Callisto believes that Searcher has lost his mind. She wants to continue the mission of saving Pandos. Searcher and his family are locked up, but their dog rescues them in no time. They head to the cockpit and Meridian takes control. Searcher has a plan of digging a hole in the heart so the Reapers can cure it from the inside. While he's at it, Ethan rushes to gather the Reapers. He doesn't have to be a farmer to make his father proud. Being a good son is enough. Meanwhile, Jaeger is just a step away from his dream, but then recalls the lovely family he had. They need him. Searcher's spade is broken, but his dad has returned for him. They dig together and make a hole for the Reapers. The pandas start to wither down and disappear completely. The heart has stopped beating, though. Maybe they were too late. Ethan feels sorry for the poor creature. Suddenly, the healing cells arrived. They spread around and revive the heart. It's beating again. The mission is complete. It's time to get back home, but Searcher wants to make another stop for the sake of his father. They fly to explore the other side of the mountains. It's the moment Jaeger dreamed of for years, but now it feels more special because his beloved son is beside him. A year passes quickly. Searcher has continued being a farmer, but he has let his son explore the world and follow his dreams. Being a good parent is not forcing your child to become what you like. It's actually supporting the child while he follows his own dreams. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on the notification, and leave a like and comment. Thank you.